Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we learn quick sort this is another video in the free dss series that we are building for you so that you thrive high in your career so before i dive in deep into quick sort let me tell you one thing the way i'll explain you quick sort would be exactly the way code would be implemented this would help you understand the code better and secondly there is a lot of ambiguity and a lot of confusion revolving around quick sort so in part 1 let's understand how quick sort behaves how it works according to the code let's adhere to the code that is being implemented afterwards i'll not show you the exact code right now i'll just show you a glimpse of it and in the next part we'll understand how it is being implemented into the code but right now understand the logic behind quick sort how it works okay so i'll consider an array now this is what i have as my array in this case what i'll do i'll select one element as pivot what is pivot any element or anything around which everything revolves or rotates okay now in this case anything can be selected as pivot you can select the last element as pivot you can select the middle element as the pivot you can select the first element as the pivot you can select any random element as pivot tumhari marzi jo karna hai karo but what i suggest is take the last element as pivot this is my approach that i follow if you want to follow a different approach you can the code will work absolutely fine but i suggest that you follow this approach because this is a bit easy as compared to the other approaches in my opinion so in that case i fix this as pivot okay this is pivot what i'll do now with respect to this pivot i'll keep it at its right place on the right hand side of pivot there would be elements which are greater than pivot on the left hand side of the pivot there would be elements which are smaller than pivot okay but you cannot randomly collect 15 26 20 put on the left side of 45 and then you collect 90 95 put randomly on the right side of the pivot this cannot happen this doesn't happen in actual quick sort code implementation okay so i'll behave accordingly i'll show accordingly how this is implemented so that you get a proper understanding of it fine so consider that there is a pointer that i have here a random pointer okay and this is pointing to a position which is before than the first element if the index is 0 it is pointing to minus 1 consider it like that okay now the basic logic is whenever you find an element smaller than pivot fine you increment this pointer and swap that particular smaller element with the element on the pointed place okay i'll show you what i'm saying let's go further and check first element that i encounter is 90 it is greater than 45 do nothing eat five star simple okay now go further you see 15 15 is smaller than 45 i told you as soon as you see a smaller element you increment this pointer so i increment this pointer i do plus 1 what will happen this pointer will start pointing here right now i told you swap the smaller element with the element on the pointed place the pointer is pointing to 90 the smaller element that we found let's take another particular pointer that is pointing to our smaller element just for reference this is not happening in the actual sense okay so we swap these two what i am telling you to do is swap 15 and 90 15 just a minute 15 comes here 90 comes here now you go further check 26 26 is also smaller than 45 what i'll do is again first of all increment this pointer plus 1 happens this pointer starts pointing here okay so what you will do is you swap these two because we were on 26 so 26 should be swapped just a minute we'll swap it out let's swap them 26 90 now if you go further 26 was here 
सो बेसिकली द रेफरेंस ग्रीन पॉइंटर दैट आई हैड टोल्ड यू वॉज हेयर राइट सो नाउ दिस गोज फर्दर एंड दिस चेक्स नाउ इट कम्स हेयर एंड इट चेक्स नाइन्टी फाइव नाइन्टी फाइव इज ग्रेटर दैन फोर्टी फाइव सो वॉट यूल डू यूल डू नथिंग आई टोल्ड यू यूल डू नथिंग एट फाइव स्टार नाउ वेन चेक नाइन्टी फाइव एंड यू नीड नॉट डू एनी थिंग यू मूव फर्दर टू चेक ट्वेंटी दिस पॉइंटर कम्स हेयर ओके यू चेक ट्वेंटी वेन यू चेक ट्वेंटी यू फाइंड आउट दैट ट्वेंटी इज स्मॉलर दैन फोर्टी फाइव द पिवट ओके इट इज स्मॉलर दैन फोर्टी फाइव सो वॉट विल हैपन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंक्रीमेंट दिस पॉइंटर फाइन से दैट दिस इज मॉनिटर पॉइंटर और स्वैप पॉइंटर बेटर टू से इट एज स्वैप पॉइंटर फाइन बिकॉज दिस इज हेल्पिंग अस इन स्वैपिंग सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई इंक्रीमेंट दिस दिस कम्स हेयर देन I swap both of them. Okay, so what do I get with this swapping? Comes here, ninety comes here. Whenever you reach the element just before pivot, basically, if I fix the pivot, this is the leftover array. When you have completely traversed the leftover array, what you need to do is again increment the swap pointer because now if you see. swap pointer is pointing at this place right so what you do is again you increment swap pointer fine and you put the pivot at its right place and you shift this whole array in this direction okay what will happen see what you do is i'll erase this you basically shift this swap in between and you shift the right hand portion on that side what i'm saying is you create a array like so basically this was the partition this is where partition should happen now you knew that this is where partition should happen so you shifted these two on one side fine i guess 95 is not that clear so i'll clear it out you shifted 95 on this side and 15 26 20 on the other side and the pivot is now at its correct place this is at its correct place now you apply the same logic here you apply the same logic here nothing else fine and then you keep on sorting them out for example if i do the same thing here fine let's check what happens if i do the same thing here you will find out i'll keep the swap pointer again ready with me fine let's apply quick sort to both the sides because this is now at its correct place what i'll do is i'll keep this as the new pivot for this partition and this as the new pivot for this partition because in this partition 95 and 90 partition let's write it separately somewhere so that you understand it better in this partition of 95 and 90 you have 90 as your last elements so i'm fixing it as pivot in this particular division 15 26 20 20 is your last element so i'm fixing it as pivot as soon as i fix them what i'll try and do is i'll keep my swap pointer ready here 15 smaller than 20 increment the swap pointer first so swap pointer comes here now if you carefully see 15 is already at the place where it should be swapped so it is already there now when i go further i'll find 26 is greater than 20 so done and dusted i have traversed the whole array i found out the correct place i'll shift it accordingly 15 20 26 this is sorted here and similarly in this case if i see swap pointer is here i see that this particular number is already greater than the pivot that i fixed so i found that pivot's correct place is here after this i told you to increment the swap pointer so this is the correct place for pivot 90 and 95 so in this case if i tell you that now i have sorted out both the partitions i have sorted out this partition as well why am i saying so i sorted out in this manner and now i can say that this partition is 
20 see i sorted it out so 15 20 26 and this is 45 as fixed and i have sorted this partition as well 90 95 so if you carefully see my whole array is sorted now this is quick sort it might look a bit different from the explanations you usually find for quick sort but once i show you the code for the same once i show you the code implementation of quick sort you'll understand why quick sort behaves in such a manner you'll understand why did i explain you like this okay so just remember just try and do the same thing with me take a paper pen try writing the same thing again try writing the same array try doing this yourself what i did with the same logic okay you will get the logic fixed in your head and then code implementation would be super easy for you fine so try and do this once and whatever problem you face in this go below in the comments write it down why am i saying so this gives you two advantages one i'll get to know your problems and i'll solve them in the next upcoming videos and top three comments are getting prep insta prime subscription for free so you might land up in gold mine with your problems if you're in top three comments fine so go ahead comment below this video and follow us on these social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update remember keep on sharing the knowledge keep on doing good without any expectations good will come back to you thank you